Hi, I'm Ian Taylor, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience using PictoChart to create my first infographic. So I chose this theme here, can't remember the name of it right now, but it's a quick and easy, you got your big hitter and three main sections for data presentation. And then I wanted to figure out the impact of the startup accelerator that one of my companies has been through. And so I've turned it into this, the Hatch Norfolk Accelerator, and where I mainly just looked at uh, how the companies and people that have visited spend their money and the different jobs and really what to look forward to coming up in the future. So there's still those three main sections that go into it. Now you'll see a lot of difference here between the one I edited and created versus the template that it starts out with. And the first thing that, thing that I did was go through and change the color scheme. Now, over here under, if I click correctly, it's uh, no, not theme graphics, let's see here. <laughs> there you go, under the mood, you have the different main color schemes that you can change and edit. But one of the things that I ended up doing was going for this color scheme, but then editing individually each one of the colors to go I think it changed the, one of the red to purple or something like that. And as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to click onto this uh, yellowish color here to change it. And see, I got it. Usually when, I'm, when I went through this, I'd look to make sure that this color overlay would change in order to make sure I was clicking the right thing. See, whereas here, I know that I'm more on the, the main picture because the see that color overlay is changing along with the little dots. So it's so at first that's pretty easy, right? But then if you can see I'm trying now to click on this over here and instead all I'm getting is the main arrows again. So one of the things that you can do is you see kind of like the shape of it and now you can send the layer back and then just keep sending the layer back or another way to do it is to move it all the way to the back and then now I can click directly on this item that I want and then change the color of it again so now you can get those to match and then oh, I guess one of the reasons you don't do that <laughs> Let's see if I can find. That other infographic. Nope. <laughs> so the undo button is, is an excellent thing to use. So you can bring that back down. Another thing you do is just kind of scoot this out of the way and then click on let's see if we can get you. And that's one of the things that's really annoying. All right, there we are. And then you can change the color of it. And then just move your other undo button. Oh man, here we go. Move it back different layers so we can get back to this. All right, let's see here. Move this out of the way so I can try and get this freaking corner thing again. Oh, looks like it's not working, so we'll just go back and, and undo that as well. <laughs> ah, there we go. We magically got to it. Yeah, so I dealt with that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> with with doing my other theme and that's something that I think they need to figure out an easier way to get in through each of that other than just doing the color scheme or maybe creating and be able to edit the actual color scheme that'd be really nice and uh, see so the other thing that I changed obviously were the icons here in the middle part So if I come down here and show you guys, one of the things I've used for other development that has been really nice 
is media loot. So media loot is a great tool for getting icons that I use to change within the infographic. So for example, I'll just grab these icons here. One of the things I always like to look for is to see the file includes PNG file types because that makes it a lot easier. You don't have to go into PS or Photoshop and mess around with the icons or anything. All right, so we get the media loot ion execute. So we'll come back here and then we kind of just drag and drop the image in and we're going to choose Our icon here. Then you just go with with whatever one you want. You say I wanted to talk about sending mail. So then we just we have our new icon, and then one of the nice things that info or that PictoChart does is that it makes it really easy for you to change the color of the icon and everything else. So now we just have it replaced and it'll match the data that you're trying to represent. Everything else I, I basically kept the same, just changed the pie chart a little bit over to a uh, bar graph or bar chart. Yeah, that was it. Overall, it was a pretty smooth experience uh, and I really enjoyed using it. Look forward to making some more infographics. Thank you, PictoChart.